guys, welcome back to Tom Mods Things. Uh, today we have got a pretty big update video going on to be honest. Um, we are one week into ownership of uh, the Max Power Punto project and uh, I think I'm right in saying that we've done a hell of a lot within the space of a week. Um, so we're going to go through all the updates that I've done with that car um, over the past seven days. Uh, tons of new bits going on. Um, obviously in the last episode you saw that we had that brand new combat body kit. Um, that's fully fitted now, so that's actually on the car um, permanently. So um, we'll flip you around and we'll show you exactly what's going on with that. And then there's a load of bits that I've done on the interior. Uh, we've got some parts knocking around on the shelf and stuff you see in the back there. Um, we've picked up new wheels for it because that was absolutely required because the ones on there were gash and uh, 13 inch just isn't going to cut it. So uh, uh, we tried those ones there, you can see the chrome ones. Uh, so we tried to fit those. Um, which was something we were intending to do with that car, but 19 inch um, wheels just aren't going to work on a Punto um, unless I start cutting um, the inner arches out and tubbing it and then adding over fenders and that. It's just, just way too much work for what is going to be a really uh, a quick and easy project. Uh, Max Power 106, we've also done a few little bits on this, so um, the uh, reverse light, fog light, everything's done. Um, literally, we're just about to button up the last bits, which were to um, do the brake bleed and the inevitable happened uh, we went to undo the bleed nipple on the front caliper and the uh, end of it snapped off perfect so uh, that means I'm gonna have to either drill it out of the caliper and see if I can get that done or um, we are just gonna buy a new caliper and fit two new calipers on the front um, just to save some time and hassle and stuff because uh, time is not something that I've got loads of at the moment um, I'm also thinking I might send it somewhere local to actually get the brake sorted because obviously it's quite a safety critical thing and uh, it'd be uh, pretty rubbish if I missed something and then suddenly there was no brakes for the uh, for the car so uh, what we might do is they'll also MOT it as well was my thinking so we can send it there get them to do the brakes so they know absolutely perfect um, I hear loads of good stuff about them anyway so um, I'm pretty certain that they do a good job and then if they MOT it afterwards as well then I know that it's totally sorted, ready to go and then we get on with um, getting the colour sorted. Um, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll uh, whip open the front of the garage, we'll flip you around and just quickly show you what's going on with the Punto outside. Um, it is raining at the moment but it's just a bit of time that I've managed to find on this uh, bank holiday weekend to actually do some filming so apologies for that. Let's get to typical British weather, so it's looking absolutely minging. But here we go. Uh, so, uh, last episode you saw we'd uh, we'd lined up the front bumper, and uh, that is actually mounted on the car. We've just um, blown over it with uh, matte black, just really to uh, just to see what it looked like. We had some spare paint knocking around. Um, we've started to uh, do a bit of a coat on, uh, like a guide coat on the side skirts as well. But they are also fitted, as we can see there. And then you can just see on the back there, the rear bumper is also on the car um, so yeah I'll come around here quickly and get a bit wet for the moment but uh, fitted round on the other side and then there we go standard Pinto so uh, the fitting was pretty good to be honest um, in the end as you can see coming all the way along here we get it to actually zoom in on the bits uh, there's some areas around here which we need to sort um, but that's pretty standard stuff really for a uh, body kit and actually most areas were pretty good all the way along what we're going to do is smooth it into the body anyway so um, around here for example where there's this step where it's the old kit meets the car body uh, we'll smooth all this across so that in essence it will blend it all into the bodywork but then all around here it's kind of okay mounted in on the uh, front and rear so it's not going to go anywhere and then we had the same situation on this side uh, bonded in and then as uh, I said with the other side uh, we're going to smooth it all in anyway so I'm going to get out of that because it is wet and horrible um, so yeah wing mirrors and stuff are all done as well um, apologies noise uh, I guess the only thing I could show actually quickly is um, I've also done some of the interior stuff so if we uh, get this bad boy unlocked and we will sit in it so that we don't get too wet um, so interior bits that we've done, um, we were getting rid of this horrible grey stuff so we've still got the full dash that we're going to paint as well but in essence this is what we've been doing so uh, we pulled out all the dash, uh, we've been repainting everything, uh, dials all silver and stuff because we're going for that black and silver theme because um, I think that just works well on uh, on 
on cars, especially cars where you're not quite sure what sort of route you're taking with it. Um, but also this was always meant to be a project where uh, we kind of get it to a really decent base level for somebody else to basically take on and uh, and then make it into their own. So we'll do all the sort of getting the body kit fitted and stuff and do some like little uh, funky mods which I'll show you guys in a minute because I've picked up some pretty cool stuff to go in but yeah and then obviously yeah door cards now aren't grey anymore they're all black. Door handle, silver handle, black outer surround. This was the, <laughs> I can't remember if I showed you this time but it's the old cup hand, cup uh, uh, holder for the door. I think there might have used to be one here um, so we're going to need to try and find something to replace because there's uh, these little sort of holes that are knocking around. Uh, but yeah so in essence this is what's going to happen. This is going to end up going to satin black, this whole dash piece all the way across um, and then these are going to go uh, the gloss black like they are on this bit here so basically like that but on these. Uh, steering wheel we're going to replace this, we're going to get all this off, uh, paint the shrouds top and bottom um, and then we're going to get a nice period correct uh, steering wheel much like the Momo that's in the, um, the 106 project which I'll show in a sec um, because then you'll get an idea of exactly what this would look like. We'll maybe pick up some max power pedals because that's just standard. Uh, I need a new head unit. Tried to fit the flip out one just to see if we could get something like that to work but um, on these puntos because the, the uh, actual head unit faces upwards at the bottom um, it doesn't leave enough room for the uh, screen to come up and then flip forward so uh, we're just going to have to get a standard single din to go in there um, and then we are thinking of doing a boot install in the back so we're going to get a big box put in and then get two upside down subs in the back um, with like a sort of the audio, audio barn ones with the flames on it maybe the chrome ones if we can find an old set of those that's still rocking around um, so yeah, so we'll do that and that'll be just sort of a nice quick thing to do. So yeah, that's pretty much inside. Oh yeah, the speakers, these are just being chucked in. <laughs> these weren't me, this is the previous owner. Um, the paper ones I think stopped working so you just bung these in. Um, so they rattle around and aren't particularly good quality anyway. So uh, what I'm thinking I will do is I've got the original speakers. So we're going to take the mounting points off of that and then we're going to um, design and 3D print a, uh, a sort of a... A uh, piece that locks in on this point here and then will kind of be facing us as you see it here forwards with um, a speaker probably won't use these edge ones to be honest we'll get something else that's maybe a little bit more subtle with to match with this sort of silver and, and black effect um, but in essence there'll be like little speaker pods um, front and left um, and then we might put little tweeters um, just in the um, uh, painted uh, a pillar stuff so yeah you can see here actually it's a pretty good uh, indication so this black is what's in essence going to end up being on the, um, the dash as well as it comes down um so yeah but definitely uh, clearing up oh yeah almost forgot yeah we got a new uh gear stick um that was just knocking around in the garage and then we've painted some of these bits down here as well we're gonna get this sorted too to get rid of this gray so yeah we're just sort of doing little bits but they're sort of small stuff that makes it um sort of a much a nicer place to be I've been banging on the miles on this anyway, so I've been using it as a daily at the moment and then uh, just recently been down to Surrey and back. Um, absolutely no problems whatsoever. Motorway is quite funny with uh, it being so light, it sort of sways when uh, you get a high crosswind or uh, or a lorry go past. But anyway, all fun and games. Oh yeah, the mobile phone's been taken out, so apologies, the Nokia's gone, but we're leaving the mountain um, because there's holes in the dash anyway, so what we're going to do is um, uh, design and print a phone holder um, or maybe just buy a phone holder um, that should be able to mount on here that will then fit normal sized uh, uh, mobile phones of this day and age just to kind of bring it a little bit into the uh, the modern era um, so yes that's pretty much everything in here we'll crack on and go back inside and show you as you can just see there what we've had right so first things first uh, we've got this fairly big thing uh, sitting on the uh, bonnet of the 106 at the moment so this is a rear wing off of a can't remember if it's a Focus or a Fiesta ST, um, but anyway, mega cheap on Facebook Marketplace, so we picked it up uh, only 20 quid for our rear wing. So what we're going to do with this is um, we're going to, because it's kind of got all the original mounting for uh, fitting onto the car it was meant for, we're going to basically cut all of that out and then we are going to blend it and whack it on the back of this, because I think with this kit at the moment, it needs a rear wing sitting up there. So what better than uh, to find a cheap part for another car and then make that work and I think with these sort of scoops and stuff and actually it could look pretty sick on the back of there to be honest so we're going to make two mounts coming back off 
um, and then we'll smooth off all the underside to get rid of all the mounting points that used to be there for the, um, the, the Ford. And then, um, yeah, two big sort of chunky struts coming down that will then mount into the rear boot lid and then bonded um, on the back like they used to with the spoilers back in the day on the Puntos. And as I say, just to show the uh, wheel in the 106, uh, obviously period correct, uh, Momo style steering wheel. So I think, um, yeah, I mean, it works perfectly well in this, as I said, with the black and silver uh, uh, color scheme as well, which is what we're gonna do in the Punto. But yeah, something like this, I reckon we could chuck in there that will look pretty good. Oh, and then also uh, anyone looking for a uh, Mark 1 Punto front or rear bumper, uh, hit me up. Got them sat here, uh, don't need them. If you want them, take them, great. Um, there is also the orange indicators and stuff. Then the other big thing we've got are these two bad boys over here. Now we're not 100% decided yet on whether these are gonna be used on the Punto or actually the 106. Uh, my, those of you that follow my Instagram will uh, potentially have seen my story that I put up showing an image of both. Um, but they are kind of the perfect sort of square shape for the aperture on the rear bumper of the combat kit on the Punto. So actually, really, it's the perfect fit for, for that kit. So I think realistically, what we'll probably do is use that on the Punto, but use one of them on the on the side that it needs to, and then we'll sell off the other one because um, it won't be required because we want to have two massive pipes out the back of the, uh, the the Peugeot anyway. So having one doesn't really help us all that much. Um, and then second big thing are these bad boys here. So these are the cheap wheels that I picked up, or again, off Facebook Marketplace, really, the, the home of, uh, of my purchases, it seems to be. Um, so these are 4x100, uh, absolutely no idea what type of wheel they are. The owner didn't either. They just came on the car that he had, and he just wanted standard wheels, so he took them off. Um, but yeah, picked them up really cheap. They need a bit of a refurb. We're going to do them silver, because I think um, we're going to go for a black and silver vibe on this. So we're going to do everything all gloss black. Um, to match the body colour, tidy up a few bits of the bodywork anyway, like some stone gyps on the bonnet, and we'll just get it so it's looking nice and presentable. Keep the silver wing mirrors, keep all the silver accents going on around here, big silver wheels, and then what we'll probably do is some like graphics or silver pinstriping or something with like a uh, silver uh, type um, sort of decals in the rear window and stuff, and we'll just sort of keep it that sort of black and silver vibe because that's sort of really classy look and you sort of wouldn't look out of place at a normal car show and stuff um, or like a breakfast meet or whatever you need to do and uh, but then it also gives a really as I say a really good base for somebody else to go a little bit mental if they want to do it yellow or I don't know bright red is what I was thinking like two-tone which would be pretty sick with like a black roof red underbody sort of coming along here down to that point there sort of yeah it's a two-tone like sort of that's a very uh, period correct uh, sort of mod the two-tone effect so anyway give some ideas for that so yeah so that's a quick update video really on uh, where we've got up so as you see we've got body kit on it's starting to look a little bit more max power once the wheels go on that's going to be uh, pretty sick to be honest because that's going to totally transform the look of the car to be honest because uh, those little 13s are just a little bit whack and not looking great so uh yeah so we'll get that done show progress on the rear wing as well um as i say all my stuff uh, YouTube and that before it comes up on here it goes up on my Instagram so do follow my Instagram Tom Mods Things um, or TikTok as well I've started doing TikToks which is always interesting um, so yeah go follow that as well if you want but yeah so cheers guys for watching uh, stay tuned for more Punto content um, and 106 as well actually now that we're at the stage where uh, this literally just needs one thing <laughs> and then it can go off and get MOT'd uh, but as you know those one things always take forever so uh, we'll get there we will get there so yeah follow for, for more of the content and uh, stay tuned because uh, both projects are definitely full steam ahead and I will catch you guys in the next one see you later